What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So in this video, I want to give you guys a straight, quick, to the point video of how to mine Shiba inside Hive OS. And I'll also go over how to separate the flight sheets so you can mine like one card to Shiba, the rest to Ethereum, like you guys are probably doing. So let's get right into it. Over here at your Hive OS, you're going to choose your farm, obviously. You're going to have to go to wallets. We need to add a Shiba wallet. So obviously, prior to this, you guys are probably going to download a Shib wallet to your phone or to your desktop, whatever the case may be. Trust Wallet's a good one to use. Exodus now carries Shiba. So do what you will. So right here, go to coin. We're going to type in Shiba because Shiba does not exist. So you click Create Shiba. Going to bomb in the receiving address of your Shiba wallet. Going to type in the name. So this is my trust wallet. And we are going to save it. As you can see right down here, it says Shiba Trust. All right. So now we're going to go to Flight Sheets. Once you're in Flight Sheets, you're going to go to Coin. You're going to type in SHIB and Shiba should pop up. Go to wallets, select the one you just created that I named trust. Pool, we're gonna configure in the miner. Gonna choose the miner. We are going to go down to T-Rex miner. We're gonna go to the setup miner config and go to the hash algorithm. So now, real quick, if you guys are mining Ethereum, obviously you're using ETHash. If you're mining ETC, you're gonna be using ETC hash. Let's go over to Unminable real quick. All right, so I wanna give you guys a quick rundown of the site Unminable. These are obviously all coins that you cannot mine, uh, technically. So this is like a middleman, kind of like a nice hash or a better hash, like one of those uh, one-click miners that auto-convert to BTC. This is the same idea. So what it is, is you mine a certain coin and you get paid out in the coin you choose. So in this case, we're choosing Shiba, but there is a whole bunch of other coins you guys can choose from and have at it. You can mine Doge. I mean, there's there's so many things. It's literally endless on this site. Makes it kind of nice. So Shiba, you have the options of using ETHash, ETC hash, Kapow or RandomX. So if you're CPU mining, if you're mining Raven, if you're mining Ethereum Classic or Ethereum, you can basically get paid out in Shiba. And the nice thing about that is you don't have to adjust your clocks inside Hive OS. If you're already mining Ethereum, you can just bomb this in and those clocks are going to be good for that card because you're technically mining Ethereum. So super awesome. But what we're going to do right now is basically let's take this right here. Ethash, that's what we're going to use because we're using Ethereum to make Shiba. So we're going to type in ETH and Ethash will pop up. Right here, the wallet and worker template. Back to unminable. Scroll down right here. See where it says Shib colon? We're going to take that. We're going to come over here and we're going to type in SHIB and a colon. Now, over here at this little I, you're going to hover over it. You're going to come down here and you're just going to click on the percentage signs in wallet and it's going to bomb that in there. We're going to put a period here and then we're going to hover over the eye again and we're going to go down to worker names and click on that. So now we have this exact thing that they want. It just looks slightly different. So this is a specific Hive OS command that basically pulls the worker name and the wallet from the flight sheet. That's why it has the percentage signs on either side of it. But either way, worker name, you can just leave alone. The pool URL, we're gonna go back to unminable and we're gonna look at this, global server. So what we can do is highlight this entire thing. We are going to right click and copy. Go back to flight sheets. I am gonna bomb that right in here. ethash.unminable.com colon 3333. Done. Now, right here, we're going to click password. You can put an X, an S, whatever you want. And then that's it. Done. Apply changes and your flight sheet is pretty much all set. All you have to do is right here, click create and you're done. Now, what I want to do is show you guys how to separate the actual cards. 
So say you have a 13 card mining rig like I have, and you want to mine Shiba on one card, not all of them, just one. So what we're going to do is go here and click add miner. We're gonna add a coin, gonna click Ethereum, gonna choose my Ethereum wallet. We're gonna scroll down to Ethermine cause that's what I am on. Going to US East cause that's where I'm closest to. Miner, we're gonna come down here and we cannot choose T-Rex cause we already have it. So I'm gonna come down here and choose NB Miner. All right, so simple as that, we just added two different miners on one flight sheet. But now we have to specify which GPUs go where. So we're gonna come back up here to the Shiba one. We're gonna choose setup miner config. We're gonna get into the extra config arguments. Hover over the eye. Come down here and go to devices. Click on it. It's gonna bomb that line right in here. You can see four, five, and six. This right now is designating GPU four, five, and six to this miner. So I am going to delete this and I am going to put zero because GPU zero is technically the first card in this rig. There is 13 cards, it goes zero through 12. So zero is my first card. I'm going to apply those changes. Then we're gonna come over here and go to NB miner. We're gonna hover over the eye, click on devices. We're basically going to just Delete this zero. Every number needs a comma after it to separate the GPUs so the configuration doesn't get confused. So we have one comma, two comma. We already have three, four. Then we're gonna do comma, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Done. All of the other cards are now on the second part of this flight sheet gonna click apply changes we're gonna name the flight sheet ccxd I'm gonna put eth underscore shib create flight sheet all right as you can see it is right here what I'm going to do is choose this little star so it's directly at the top of my list and I can find it easy so now let's go to workers I have a few 13 card rigs so I can really choose any one of these right here this is annoying I have a GPU out so I'm gonna have to go deal with that at some point great uh, anyways let's go to I guess uh, CCXD 6 we'll choose that um, well that's not normal <laughs> all right we're gonna ignore that for now let's uh, go to the flight sheets we're gonna find the flight sheet we just made which is this one right here and we're just gonna click the rocket ship and as you guys know, I had one AMD card in this rig, so that's why I uh, chose NB Miner can do either or. Also, just so you guys know, this T-Rex could be Team Red Miner if you use an AMD GPU, but obviously I'm using NVIDIA, so T-Rex it is. All right, so usually after you set a flight sheet, you want to click on this little pickaxe and come down here and just go to Restart Miner. I actually just did that and didn't explain it when I did it, so... That's why it's already going. I'm gonna refresh and boom, there we have it. So as you guys can see, there is two miners working on the same flight sheet and you can see GPU zero is designated up on the top, mining Shiba in T-Rex miner. As you guys can see, 62 mega hash, it's technically mining Ethereum, but you're getting paid out in Shiba to your Shiba wallet. And yeah, like I said, the great part about this is you don't have to adjust your overclocks at all. You literally just leave them exactly how they are because the card is going to run exactly how it was on Ethereum. I mean, it's a win-win, to be honest. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be it. Hopefully, you guys learned something today. Hopefully, this helped a lot of you guys out being able to uh, separate your cards inside the flight sheet. I know it's kind of confusing, but... Once you guys do it a few times, it is super simple and you'll definitely get the hang of it. Please don't forget, smash that like and subscribe on the way out. And I will see you guys real soon. Peace.